Welcome back to New Day. New Day. New details emerging this morning in the case against Justin Ross Harris. He's the father accused of letting his toddler die in a hot car. Hundreds of new discovered internet postings have now emerged. Investigators are trying to paint a picture of Harris using all of it. But will it be enough to hurt Harris in court? Want to bring in some legal minds on this Friday. Joining us from Atlanta, Mo Ivory, attorney and radio personality, Paige Pate. He is a criminal defense attorney. They both join us. So good to have you both. Good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, Mo, I want to start with you. You know, you look at these postings. Some of them are, are a little disturbing and some of them are intriguing and you kind of can't help but read into them. As an attorney, you know not to do that. You try to mm -hmm. figure out what the facts are in the case. The poster believed to be Harris expressing some views, for example, strong anti-abortion views. Quote, killing a person in the sense of abortion is selfish and malicious with the intent of only satisfying your own agenda. Does this sound uh, like the, this could help his defense at all? I, if I was his defense attorney, I would certainly use it to do that. I mean, it sounds here that he's trying to make a case for how important life is and the life of a child and, you know, how much he, um, you know, believes in the life of a child and that nobody should end it. So I definitely think that it speaks to that. But if I was the prosecution, I'd use it in another way that, you know, they are a religious family. They have been in church, but that that really doesn't have anything to do with killing your own born child for selfish reasons, for an agenda to have a child free life or to fix your marriage or whatever the prosecution ends up saying is the reason why he did this. So I think it can be used both Either ways. Either way. Paige, uh -huh. you know, other posts go on to say, quote, I'm now in my dream job, have a beautiful six-month-old son. I couldn't be happier. That sure doesn't sound like a guy on the brink. It really doesn't. Um, I, I agree with Mo that this kind of information can help him in the court of public opinion, mm. but it's unlikely to help him in a trial court. This type of evidence is not admissible unless he takes the stand and testifies to it. You can't get in your self-serving hearsay statements that you may have said in a text or some other uh, communication. So it's not going to come in at court, but it may help him with the public and his character witness. And Mo, he brings up a great point, this court of public opinion. You know, we look at the mm -hmm. fact that Leanna Harris, the wife, who has made some comments that many people have viewed as odd and, and ill-timed and, and strange, she, yeah. has, uh, have, she has hired legal counsel now. What does that development say to you as, as a legal professional? Well, what it says is it's sort of the smartest thing that she's done since this whole incident happened, you know. Um, getting an attorney doesn't necessarily mean that you're gearing up for a charge. It could, and it might, and that's what she could be doing. But it's always a good idea when you're surrounded by a case such as this to have representation. It doesn't mean you're guilty. It doesn't mean you're innocent. It just means that you're getting representation. So I was kind of glad that she did because it means now that, you know, they are taking this seriously, that she may, you know, and for me, I hope it means means that she is going to uh, decide to uh, take a, if she gets charged, to take a plea to work with the prosecution and testify against her husband. And if that would save her life, maybe that's what she's gearing up to do. But I definitely think the public pressure in the last week has been pointing towards her, which probably sped up the process of her getting an attorney. Paige, you're shaking your head. Right. Uh, I know the lawyer that she's hired to represent her. He's a good lawyer, uh, but they are very close to her husband's legal team. And we know that she's been visiting her husband's lawyer. She's been visiting her husband at the jail. While I do think it's a great idea to get representation, at least have somebody run interference uh, with the media, with the public, with law enforcement, I don't see her breaking off from her husband at this point. If anything, I see just the opposite. I see them tied very closely together. Paige, pretend you're her attorney for a second, what would you advise her? Well, I advise her, number one, to stop talking over <laughs> jail phones to her husband about anything <laughs> other than... I advise her of that, too, though. You know, yeah. I, I love <laughs> you, uh, I care about you. Yes. Uh, and then I would advise her lawyer, if, or if I'm her lawyer, to start talking to the district attorney's office, if nothing else, to get a good idea of what their case is. Do you consider my client a suspect? Let's get that out there, because if you do, then we need to discuss the evidence, and I need to take some strategic moves at this point. Well, really quickly, they're wrapping me, but I, I, we know that it's it's sparked a, a big debate about uh, hot car deaths, et cetera. We know a law is, is in place in Tennessee now that protects bystanders who, if they see a child trapped in a car, mm -hmm. they can break the window without legal recrimination. You're hearing any calls in Georgia about a similar law there because of this story? 
Well, I, I definitely think that people are talking about what the governor did, a program of education to let people know about this and taking that a step further and making sure that we have some laws around this. Because, I mean, now we're finding out after this happened, so many cases right. of it happening and so many people coming forward to say, I actually left my child in the car. My One of my best friends told me yesterday that she did that. Mm. And I was shocked. So yeah. I think it's a secret that a lot of people hold and a law could only help to protect children in that situation. Our key, uh, our key goal in, in talking about this. Right. We don't want this to happen again. Mo Ivory, Paige Pate, always a pleasure. Thanks so much. John